Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, my hair looks a wreck. That is because today I wanted to do a rose hip oil deep conditioning treatment. I wanted to see how it, you know, worked on my hair to see if it really added a lot of shine and moisture to my hair because it's still very cold. It's very much winter here in the Northeast and my skin, like my scalp and my hair just need more hydration, especially because I you know, color it from time to time, and I just feel like it's very dry, itchy, um, and it also gets very oily quickly, which is probably my scalp compensating for the dryness. So I wanted to use just a couple things, a hair cap and this rose hip oil. And I'm going to leave it on my hair for about 20 minutes to a half hour, maybe shampoo it out and then see how it conditions my hair. If you guys don't know already, rosehip oil is so good. It's a very versatile product. You can you can use it, you know, on your skin, body, face, hair, scalp, uh, cuticles. You can use it all over your body basically. It's a very nourishing, gentle oil. It provides a lot of moisture and it helps block out that dry air. So I tend to use rosehip oil usually all winter long. So I'm very excited to see if it does anything for my hair because I've yet to use it on my actual strands. So I'm curious to see if it actually does what I've seen it do for other people, which is like add a lot of shine, moisture, frizz-free hair. So just going to put it on my hair. machine in the background now that I look like I'm going to like be a chef like on the ISS much like a xenon look if you ever if you guys remember that Disney Channel original movie xenon <laughs> it's giving me those vibes um but yeah I'm gonna leave this thing on for like a half hour maybe 45 minutes I will get I will let you guys know how long I keep it on for and then I'm gonna just go through my normal hair washing routine shampoo conditioner uh, and come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's all dry and we'll see and I will show you the results okay everybody so I'm back and as you can see my hair is completely dry it has a nice bounce to it it's a nice shine still a little bit of frizz and it still feels like it could start getting like greasy within like a day or so it's kind of hard to wash out all the oil, but I did actually leave it in for like a whole hour. I just got busy with work, so I left it in for a whole hour, and then I washed it just normally. I'm right now using the L'Oreal Ever Pure shampoo, the sulfate-free. I used to love that one, so I'm like back to using it, and it's really good shampoo. I feel like it did wash it out pretty thoroughly, but I think on this side, it will definitely start getting a little bit greasier sooner, or oil more oily, I should say, not greasy. But, this is my hair. So it has a lot of nice bounce and shine. I think it did a really good job of like clarifying my scalp. It got rid of some of the dry skin I've been dealing with. I had like some dry skin flakes. So it definitely helped to clear some of that up. And it just feels really hydrated, really nice, really bouncy and soft. So I think it did a really good job. I would definitely say um, if you can leave it in like overnight and then just make sure you like shampoo twice to get all, all of the oil just to make sure there's nothing left behind. But yeah, I just shampooed and conditioned as normal and this is what I'm left with. I love it. I think it's really pretty. My hair feels super healthy and soft, which is awesome because it's been so dry and with coloring your hair and just like using hot tools it can do a lot of damage to your hair so this definitely helped to kind of reset my hair integrity and I would recommend giving rosehip oil a shot um, it's awesome that you can just use it in your hair and not only on your skin because it's amazing for both so highly recommend using rosehip oil for your next hair mask and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye.